Uh, welcome my friends once again to global videos uh, today in this video I'm going to show you a really quite interesting uh, tutorial about uh, the software which you can use for audio recording and uh, it's hundred percent free usually if you are going to use or buy some software it has some features same features you can get in this software which is hundred percent free and it's called audacity as you can see I have already downloaded and installed it so I'm just going to show you uh, a quite uh, interesting tutorial where you can learn quite interesting things in it for example I have opened the software and you can see here are different toolbars on the screen and uh, these are basically as you are quite aware of these toolbars which are just recording uh, forward play and pause toolbar and further you can see that uh, there are couple of mic uh, tools which you can use for example to increase or decrease the volume and its pitch and couple of these things and here on the screen it's uh, cut copy and paste toolbars and uh, after that uh, if you want to trim some audio or if you want to remove the selection or um, undo redo or whatever so these tools are basically for that so what I'm going to show you it's uh, for example I will go to file if you want to start uh, a new project for example you just need to do new and it will start a quite new uh, window for you for the software so you can uh, go over a project so uh, it's also same like other softwares if you are working on couple of multiple projects at the same time and uh, you can use that also so if you have already saved some uh, recording and you want to do some editing in that you can also do that and uh, after that uh, recent file it's uh, if you have uh, saved some file already then you can reopen them and save project for example um, if uh, mm, I'm going to uh, work on some project record something I can save it but it will not save in mp3 or any other audio format it will be uh, saved in format which is supposed uh, supported by audacity so that you can reopen it and uh, keep editing that so this option is for that and export is when you are done recording you just come here and uh, you just export it in the these audio file format for example mp3 wave or whatever so basically you can select the audio format here but when your project is uh, complete so then you can use it so after that uh, there is uh, the second option it's edit this is basically also using if you have done something for example mistakenly and you want to undo that uh, so I'm just going to make a short recording here and uh, I will show you how to use this so let's go welcome my friends to global videos once again so in this video I'm going to show you a quick tutorial so that's it I have just made a short recording for example and uh, for making a selection for example you just need to click on it and drag so I have made a selection and I want to cut this part so I want to remove this part and I'm going to show it's just control X or I'm going to use this knife over here and that part is being removed so if I want to bring it back so simply undo cut it has been replaced again and if I want to remove it so not using a selection tool and then cut tool so radio cut then it will be uh, again removed from this part but I am going to use this uh, complete recording for the couple of uh, further tasks in this uh, tutorial so I'm just gonna leave it here so this was just to show you how you can do it and this is also if I want to remove it and copy paste this is similar if you are working in office uh, and these are the same commands basically remove special it's uh, if you want to make uh, any changes for example this recording it's just a single track if I want to um, delay if I want to cut it into couple of other uh, for example tracks so just I need to make a selection and uh, I can do split cut so basically it has removed it and it's been divided into uh, further two portions you can see that it's the first part and that is the silent part removed part and this is the uh, last part so I'm going to use undo again and uh, so this is in the original form now 
so these are the basically uh, same tools so if you can see that silent audio uh, if I'm going to put it here if you you can see that this is the basically uh, you can see that uh, pitch of the sound here and if I'm going to make a selection and I don't want to have any voice here without removing or splitting the track so you can just use this uh, tool so you can see that it has not cut the track but it has removed the audio from this part so basically this tool is for just using the silence mode in any track without cutting that or splitting it okay <clears throat> so the next thing is if I'm going to show you quite uh, uh, these basic tools so you can learn a lot of interesting thing from this software basically because this is 100% free and you can go here and uh, automatically you can see its information so you don't see here that you need to register here or you need to pay something for getting it so or basically if you can see that uh, here in the description you can see that audacity the free so you are not going to pay anything for that so now um, I'm going to show you the most useful and interesting tool of uh, uh, this software and uh, you can go here for example in effects and see noise reduction so this is quite interesting and uh, useful tool which uh, almost every uh, youtuber or video maker is going to uh, use for example if they know about this uh, because uh, if you are recording outside or if you are recording somewhere where it's noisy so you are surely gonna uh, remove the background noise or distortion um, otherwise your um, recording quality is not uh, nice so the people who are listening this uh, recording they're getting so much annoying uh, with the background noise for example uh, this tool is quite quite uh, useful for the people also for example who are using vlogs and uh, if they are outside for example on the mountains or on the places like waterfalls or the beaches uh, where the, it, the atmosphere is quite windy so this is also going to help them a lot so I'm going to play this uh, recording so that uh, you can hear it and you can feel that how noisy is it and when I'm going to put the tool and then how does it affect so I'm going to play it now so welcome my friends to global videos once again in this video I'm going to show you a quick tutorial so this is how it works so to using this tool first of all you have to make a selection you can use control a to select all or basically you can uh, just click and drag it over from start to end and then you have to go to uh, effects and noise reduction here you're having um, different options which you can use for example and first of all we are going to see what options here first step it's like to get a nice profile so this is basically if you are using this option this is going to analyze the noise in your uh, recording and then it's going to remove it so uh, first of all we are going to use it here but here you can see that there are a couple of other steps but we have to do it after so first of all we are going to use get nice profile we have done that and the selection is already made so go there again effects and then we have to um, use this tool again noise reduction and then here you can see that noise reduction um, this is level if you can increase or decrease something if you want to increase smoothness in your uh, recording you can use this option also so basically um, I'm not going to change anything here for now so I'm just going to click OK so you can see here the selection has been made and I'm going to click OK on the screen and you will see a quite cha quite change in the screen so I'm going to press OK and then you have seen that it has removed all the unwanted noise from the uh, recording so I'm going to play it over again so you will feel the difference so welcome my friends to global videos once again in this video I'm going to show you a quick tutorial so this is the recording for after uh, using this noise reduction tool on it and if I'm going to uh, replay for example uh, the old video so I'm going to use to use the undo tool 
So this has placed the audio in its original form and I'm going to play it now again. So welcome my friends to Global Videos once again. In this video I'm going to show you a quick tutorial. So you have seen that how it the sound is now and now once again I'm going to play the um, noise removed video. So welcome my friends to Global Videos once again. In this video I'm going to show you a quick tutorial. So now I'm going to uh, open uh, a window for example where uh, you can see um, the screenshot I have made. So this is the screenshot what I have taken recently when I was going to uh, remove the noise from this uh, recorded track. So this is the track before it and this is now. So you can see the level of uh, for example the pitch level and uh, the distortion in this uh, edited recording and this was it before. So this is going to uh, show you quite big difference in both before and after using this tool. So friends, uh, this was the tutorial today. I hope you have liked the video. Uh, if you like the video, press the like button and also subscribe to our channel so that you can get uh, the further videos in the future. So thank you for your cooperation. Keep watching global videos.